So, Senator, thank you so much for this. Wanted to talk a little bit about your new leadership role in the Senate Republican Caucus. Um, what is it, you know, I know a lot of folks have talked about the first time that a, a woman's been in the caucus for a little while, but I actually was much more interested in the fact that there's a, there's a younger veteran in the, in the leadership now. Uh, you and I have talked a bunch in the past just about yeah, the amount you have to educate folks. So what, talk to me about being a, a uh, Iraq War veteran, uh, someone who can bring some of those concerns and bring that perspective to, to all the planning, to all the leadership planning. Well, I think it's very important, Leo, thank you. And uh, the opportunity that I have right now, not only as a younger veteran, a veteran of one of our recent wars, to be able to explain to leadership from a perspective of someone that has served it at the tactical level on the ground in Kuwait and Iraq, um, that opportunity to explain how things work, but then also to take the view from our membership and be able to push that out in messaging to the American people. It's very important. It's a great opportunity for us to, uh, to uh, really educate the American people on why it is so important that we are funding our military well and why we are bringing leadership in from the military and, and uh, putting them in elected office in the United States Senate or in Congress. Right. So you, I mean, you've been talking about that for quite some time. That's not a, a new position for the, the Republican leadership to be talking about the importance of military spending. But what, what do you see your role as, as talking about that and sort of promoting the importance, you know, what we're hearing today, the importance of funding defense fully and not, not backtracking on some of the, the readiness and training and other resources. Right, one of my criticisms of Congress is that we, we do talk at a strategic level and that is very important, but as a veteran and, and someone who was actually on the ground wearing those boots, to be able to explain the, explain the so what to that strategic thinking now, how do those dollars actually apply to our men and women on the ground? What is the human implication of either funding or not funding our military? And so while we can get caught up in the broad spectrum of strategic operations around the globe, what does it mean to our men and women on the ground and what difference are they making as we are trying to achieve our goals around the globe?